18 miles off the Sussex coast, Operation Ocean Witness finds what it's looking for. We know their speed and we know their pools, so basically they are doing 1.5 knots, which is they're probably fishing. It's a French trawler using a fishing method that conservationists say is unsustainable because it is so highly efficient and Greenpeace wants to stop it. They're asking you to go home now. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. And when they say no? Greenpeace has been patrolling the channel for much of the summer. It says industrial scale trawling has severely depleted fish populations and is declared a state of emergency. This is what's called a fly shooter, one of around 75 boats operating in the channel. It not only drags heavy equipment along the sea bottom, but it also has a vast net that encircles whole shoals of fish. Fly shooting is legal. The trawler is within its rights. But research shows one vessel using the method catches as many fish as up to 11 smaller boats. And Greenpeace has joined coastal fishermen in calling for a ban. Local fishers along the south coast are in complete crisis. Like we've heard time and time again that there just simply isn't enough fish to catch. And they largely blame that on fly shooters, a kind of industrial fishing vessel that you see behind me. They, they sweep in, they can fish over a huge area extremely quickly. And then the local smaller fishing boats, they arrive and find that there's just nothing left. So they, they cannot compete with these kinds of vessels. Fisheries conservation scientists say there are quotas on how many fish can be caught in any one area, even with fly shooting. But it still has a huge impact on traditional communities. If you're a small-scale boat fishing out of a small harbour, you're hoping to go out every month and spread your catches over the year, whereas these boats might come in and remove their entire catch for the year, possibly in the space of a month. And, of course, that then leaves a hole in the amount of fish there that's available to the small boats that remain behind. So it's an issue of equity. The French trawler lifted its nets when confronted by Greenpeace. Its owner didn't want to comment. The government said it was aware of the concerns over fishing pressures in the English Channel and it wants to work with the industry to tackle the issues. Thomas Moore, Sky News, of the Sussex Coast.